Hello, everybody. Look at what showed up in the mail a little bit early. I got permission to unbox this thing for you. So we're going to see what exactly is inside this Lumix S1 box, the Lumix 50 F1.4 box, and then I got the battery grip and a little extra eye cup here, too. Let's find out what's inside. The box is so pretty. It's like I just I feel like I got to clean it and not touch it. Maybe I should wear gloves while doing this. Greetings, everybody. I'm Photo Joseph, and I am a Lumix ambassador, which means I am fortunate enough to have gotten my hands on this Lumix S1 just a little bit early. These things aren't actually in the stores for almost another week, but I've got one here, and I figure maybe, just maybe, you want to see what's inside. So first off, just check out the box. This is a this is pretty. This is new. This is, well, obviously the biggest box we've seen for a Lumix camera, but also just, I like the red stripe. I'm kind of digging it. Taking that red stripe branding all the way to the packaging. Very, very nice. Ooh, it's just, like I said, it's kind of pretty. I just want to wipe all the little spots off of it and maybe handle it with some baby gloves, but let's get into it. There is a uh, little sticker on the front. We'll just peel that guy off ever so gently. Ooh, can I, I wonder if I could, ooh, it's gentle. It's like, it's not ripping. I might be able to put that back on at some point. Ah. <sighs> So we have three boxes inside of here. Um, I'm going to guess the camera's in one of these two here. Let's uh, let's just let's go for the smaller accessories first. Let's see what is in here. Open this up. Looks like a uh, aha batteries, chargers, straps, that sort of thing. Big S1 strap. Excellent. Oh, good. The HDMI holder to hold the HDMI full size HDMI cable into the side of the camera. We have a USB-C cable, a, another USB-C cable, power cable, big old battery. This is a USB-C to power cable and then the charger, the actual charging base, it must go USB-C into that. So I guess you got a couple different options of how you're going to charge this. You can go USB-C from a computer or anything into this, or you've got this as an intermediary as well. So lots of different options there for charging, keeping it powered. I see Assured Creative Media is asking, is this a test and send back unit or is it a keeper? This, my friend, is a keeper. This is an actual legitimate shipping product. I just got mine a little early. Let's grab this one next. There we go. Open that up, and oh, this could be the camera. Let's get this out of the way so we have a little more space here. There it is in the top. Ooh, something. Oh, oh no, that is not the camera. That would be the lens because this, my friends, is the kit. This is the S1 with the lens. So this is the kit lens. Ha, calling it a kit lens. It is an absolutely gorgeous piece of glass, which is hermetically sealed apparently inside of this. So I, there we go. Got that open. Um, someone's asking, did you consider the S1R at all? Oh, I consider everything. I would love to have the S1R. Um, uh, beyond the S1, why not have both, right? Here you go. So this is the 24 to 105 lens. You guys haven't seen this here on this show yet. When I had the S1R here, I only had the 50 mil lens. This has on it the locking switch, which is, I believe, to lock the zoom in a closed position. Yep, there we go. So now it can't zoom out. Then you've got the autofocus, manual focus switch, and the optical image stabilization switch on there as well. You have... Let's see, nice big front element on there. 77 millimeter filter, so I think it is the same size as the 51.4. And of course, the new L mount. There is a shade, lens shade in there, of course. And looks like that's everything out of there. Well, I guess that means that must be the camera that is in the other box in there. So let's get it out. There's a small box that definitely looks like the camera, but we'll see what's in here first. You've got an instruction manual. Whoa, that's thick. And the camera. Ooh, very nicely wrapped up. See here, ooh, ooh, what have we got here? What have we got here? Ah, there she is, my friends. There she is, the Lumix S1. That is a beauty. So just like the S1R, physically virtually identical other than the badging, of course, the S1R has an S1R on the front of it. Um, but that is, my friends, the new Panasonic Lumix full frame S1 camera. Superb. Let's see, anything else in the box? There's. Nope, nothing else in there. Okay, let's get this big lens on there so we can see what those look like together. You actually need to press the lens release on the body to release the body cap. Oh boy. All right, let's get that in place. There is the full kit there. So that is what you will be getting if you have pre-ordered the kit. Incidentally, I should point out as well, just as a reminder for anyone who's watching this who hasn't pre-ordered and was thinking about getting one, we know right now if you do a pre-order, you get for free a battery grip and an extra battery. If you're thinking about getting one of these, if you're like really close to getting one, do it before Thursday. Actually, just play it safe. Do it before Wednesday uh, the 3rd and make sure that you get those accessories with it. All right, let's go into battery grip next. Of course, another manual. 
And not expecting too much excitement here, but there is the battery grip. So with this thing, let's let's just put it on there. Let's see what the whole thing looks like together. And I probably have to take this off the bottom here. There we go. There's a little cover on the bottom there. I just peeled this little cover off the bottom there that will marry up with the same ports on there. Interesting. There is a little divot inside of here. I wonder what that's for, actually. Hmm. I don't know. When you are not using this, aha, uh -huh, there we go. This goes into there. Superb. So this would go into here. Obviously, I've not put a battery in there yet, but now we are talking about a serious full frame beast. And that's that's full frame. Let me just out of a point of reference, I'm just gonna rip a G9 out of here and let's see how those compare. That's a that's a pretty significant size difference. That is definitely a significant size difference. I mean, hey, it's full frame instead of micro four thirds. This is what we expect when we take it all the way up to the big size is the, the marketing says no compromises on the body. A big part of that is they weren't trying to make it small and light. They basically were trying to make it do absolutely everything it could. Things like 4K 60, you know, the little stuff like that. Anyway, let's get into the other lens. There's another manual. There is something in here, a lens shade, I'm guessing. Yes, it is lens shade and lens bag. I have so many of these lens bags. I'm not quite sure what to do with those. The lens itself. Oh, this is, oh man, this is a beast. This lens, I mean, I've already played with this lens. Actually, it's the only lens I've significantly worked with. It's gorgeous. It is such an incredible, incredible lens. Wow. Well, here, let's do a little side-by-side -side of those two. The 50 is definitely bigger. Put a cover on this. Let's not scratch things up in my first day here. They are both 77. They're just suspiciously, ha, huh, doesn't that look bigger? That's funny. I guess just because the glass is bigger, but the outer ring is actually the same. So same front element size. Well, that's great. So your filters all fit the same one way or the other. So you get your 50 mil with the F1.4, obviously your widest aperture. This has that mechanical aperture ring. This one also has the clutched focus, which is just so beautiful. So you get that nice mechanical focus or flip that back up and you have autofocus or focus by wire. So there you go. That is the new kit. Look at that. Just mm, mm, mm. Well, I know what I'm going to be shooting with this weekend. All right, guys, let's just jump into a Q&A. If you want to ask anything about the camera that I can try and answer for you, I will certainly do that. For those of you watching live, you know what to do. Type that photo just in front of your question. For those of you not watching live, just hang out for a minute and it will show up right here.